You know, when I came into church, I came from dysfunction. I came from all sorts of, I suppose the word mess is fitting. A lot of that was due to not really knowing who I was. And when you don't know who you are, you don't know what you stand on. When you don't know what you stand on, you're up for anything. When I started to understand who I was and, and what I was created for, when I started to understand that I was made in, in God's image and that Christ was in me, there was no amount of pressure that anyone ever could put on me that would ever become louder or would ever sway me from understanding that I was put on this earth for something special. I had to be very strong in my convictions, very quick. And because of that, the things around me started to conform to who I was. A big part of my identity is I'm destiny. You know, I'm, I'm a son of this house, I'm a son of this ministry. When our man of God speaks, I have this mentality, or I have this mindset of, he's talking to me, he's talking to me. And, and you know, because we get such an amazing word week after week, there's, there's opportunity weekly for, for things to take place around us. Daily I ask God, use me Lord, you know. Daily I want, I want something from Him. More and more, I, as, as long as I've been sensitive to that voice and done my best, He's turned up. I know that if, if I'm not confident in who I am, someone may not get to know who they are. I, I constantly have people saying to me, man, I really love how you do this, or I really love how you do that. And it's nothing specific to my personality. It's more so a thing of being real to what's happening inside. And in most cases, it's it's always the opposite to what's going on around me. But I, I don't think it's a, it's a thing of certain people have it. It's a, it's a choice. It's something you have to choose to, to have. Far be it from me to, to ever uh, hide away if, if I feel something from God, I'm gonna try my best to make it happen. If there was a gift in my life, it would be, I, I really want to please God. Don't let setbacks simply be your sit down moment, or don't let those setbacks be what stop you progressing in your life. And like our bishop says, a setback is a setup for a comeback. Just rise up and run, run hard. God will use the least to do so much, if you believe if you believe. And under the DNA that we have in this house, under the word that we get, all you need to do is believe.